Hello, I'm Sarah from South London Sling Library and today I'd like to talk to you about baby wearing in colder weather. Um, the first thing to think about is the combination of the sling or the carrier that you're using and what your baby's wearing. Um, I'm wearing two layers, I've got a vest top on underneath this, I've got a long sleeved um, top as well. Um, my baby is wearing a vest and a baby grow. The sling, this is the very lovely Ismi baby carrier, which is a nice lightweight sling. This adds a layer. Most structured baby carriers, carriers with clips and buckles, are going to count as at least one layer. Um, uh, something like a stretchy wrap um, would count as multiple layers. So think about the number of layers you are physically putting over your baby. So with the Ismi baby carrier, I've got one um, very nice lightweight extra layer. So that means I'm in two layers. My baby's in three layers, which is one layer more than me, which is the current NHS recommendations. Then it's best to think about the parts of my baby that are sticking out of the sling or the carrier. Nice pair of baby wearing socks. I knit and um, hand knit and sell these myself, but they fit baby perfectly, um, especially at this age, uh, up to their knee, just makes it really easy to pop them on when the baby's in the sling just to keep their feet warm as they're sticking out of the sling. You can also add a hat if you need to. Baby's head sticking out of the sling. You might need to keep them a bit warmer up top there as well. Um, then it's time to think about your outer layers. You're always gonna layer over the top of the sling for a non-walking baby. So when your baby is going to be carried by you, um, it's much easier to layer over the top than it is to put a coat or a jacket or a cardigan or a snowsuit on the baby and then put them in their sling. There's several reasons. The first one being that what the baby is wearing, their external puffy layers, can affect the way they sit in the sling. And you're perhaps not going to get them as comfortable um, as you would without those extra puffy layers. Um, it can also mean that you are not as comfortable if their position is not optimal. Um, so it can kind of have a knock-on effect for your comfort level as well. The other thing is, particularly in the UK, because the temperature can fluctuate so much over the course of the day, who knows what the weather's doing at any given moment, um, but it just makes it easier to add and remove layers through the course of the day if the layers are over you and the baby. Um, if the baby's wearing their own warm layers um, and then you've got them in the sling, you go into a cafe, meet some friends, or you get onto a bus or a train and it's warm, or you get home and they're asleep, um, you've got to disturb them to take those extra layers off to avoid overheating them. Whereas if you've layered over the top of you, baby, and the sling, you can just remove those, or add or remove those extra layers as you need to through the course of the day, depending on whether you're indoors or outdoors or what the weather's doing. Um, so it just makes it much, much easier to do. Um, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look at a couple of different ways that you can layer over you and baby to keep you both toasty warm and dry through the winter months. So we're starting off, I'm in two layers, baby's in two layers plus the sling, making three layers for baby. We've got baby wearing socks and a hat. Now we're gonna look at something that's also gonna help me stay warm. My first option is just a nice oversized fleece. I've just nicked my fleece back off the mannequin um, and uh, I can just put that on because my baby's small my fleece, because it's big, will quite easily zip up around both of us. I can still see my baby's face. There's plenty of air circulating in there. I know my baby's absolutely fine. That's going to keep me warm. It's keeping the baby warm. They've got their hat and their baby wearing socks, just providing extra layers because they might have, obviously you might get a draft up inside your jacket. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of providing those extra layers and having that jacket done up over both of us um, means that baby's then also got my body heat and I have to admit, I've also got baby's body heat. Um, it's one of the best things about carrying my babies in the winter was that they always just helped keep me so toasty warm. <laughs> I am not a warm person. I'm always looking for scarves and, and jumpers and cardies, um, but having my baby inside my fleece was just amazing at keeping me warm. Um, if you're a very warm person, then you can always kind of unbutton or use a lighter layer um, to go over you both. 
As the baby gets bigger, you might want to think about how we're going to bridge this gap. Let me show you a really brilliant idea from a great person um, working on, on, she works via her Facebook page. Uh, the Facebook page is Annie's Accessories. Let me show you this brilliant gadget. This is the cozy clip-on jacket extender from Annie's Accessories. Um, I mean, absolute genius. It's got these brilliant little clips. So it'll clip onto any sling or carrot or any sling, any coat or jacket. So what you can do is particularly if you're sharing the carrying with another adult, you can keep the jacket extender with the sling. And then whoever's taking the baby out with the sling has the jacket extender to be able to bridge the gap between the two sides of your coat. It's genius. As the baby gets bigger, um, you've just got extra space kind of that the, the um, if your coat won't do up around both of you, you can use the jacket extender to uh, bridge that gap. It's beautiful soft shell fabric, so it's waterproof, windproof, um, little hood for when baby gets bigger. Uh, but yeah, just absolute genius. Then if you get on a bus or a train or go into a cafe or get home, you can just unclip like so and take your jacket off. Uh, and then you're back in indoor clothes and baby's in it if you need to. You can take baby's hat and, and baby wearing socks off. Um, and then you're all back in indoor clothes and baby can stay undisturbed in their sling. Um, my mother used to say, never wake a sleeping baby. So, you know, all right. Um, you can also get a uh, cover, universal sling or baby carrier covers that either go around you or go around the baby. This um, one, this is the Hug Me, also from Annie's Accessories. Uh, just like the jacket extenders, she has this soft shell fabric in loads of different prints and colours. You don't have to have the plain black jacket extender. Um, I mean, this one is properly out there. I love this, this is amazing. <laughs> I've got a bit of a thing about rainbows. So yeah, this one is just absolutely brilliant. And this is the Hug Me baby wearing cover. And this basically clips around the shoulder straps on the sling. So it could, would clip around here and around here and it hangs down, you tuck baby's feet in and it's that soft shell fleece lined pocket basically around the baby. It's like a coat for the baby, but it's on the outside of the sling. So again, you go on a bus or a train, you can undo one side and open it up and then baby's got that um, airflow that they need in a warmer environment. Or if you go home, you can just unclip it from your sling and then baby's back in indoor clothes and so are you. So a baby wearing cover like that, that one clips onto the sling. Let me show you another one. This is the bundle bean baby wearing cover. This is fleece lined and shower proof as well. This has an elastic Velcro strap. What I love about this one is you can just dive into it like that and it hangs around you and baby. Again, elasticated edges. I can tuck baby's feet on the inside. So this again is just like a jacket for the baby. I can then put my jacket on to keep me warm and this bridges the gap between the two sides of my coat. I then get on a bus or a train or go into a cafe. I can dip it underneath the baby's bottom um, and they've got a bit of a cooler environment while we're inside and it's warmer. And then when we go back out, I can just lift it up over them again. To take it off, I can either slide it all the way down, get out of it, I can take it back off over my head like in exactly the same way I put it on, or reach the Velcro strap behind me and undo. Um, so bundle bean, another one, really easy way to add that outer layer, um, yeah, for you and for baby, just as a baby wearing cover. Another way to keep you, both of you warm in the cooler weather is to invest in a baby wearing coat. Now, it really is an investment. They're not cheap, um, but it, particularly if you are carrying a lot, it can be an absolute game changer. Um, a baby wearing coat has a panel that zips into the front. The great thing about the baby wearing coat is you can take the panel out and you just wear it like a normal coat. So if you don't have the baby with you, you can still wear your baby wearing coat. I mean, this honestly is my day-to-day -day coat in the winter. Um, I take the baby wearing panel out of it and nobody knows I'm wearing a baby wearing coat. Of course, you see me in the street, you're not gonna know I'm wearing a baby wearing coat and I've got a 12 year old and a 15 year old with me, but hey. Um, most people on a day-to-day basis don't know that I'm wearing a baby wearing coat. Um, I can add the panel if I had a baby in a sling. Generally, I add the panel just to show people. Um, 
But the great thing about this, this is the uh, Wallaby from Wombat & Co. Um, the great thing about these coats is that this panel will also zip into the back. So as my baby gets bigger, I can zip the panel into the back of the coat and I can use it for back carrying. And that is an absolute game changer. Um, but with the panel on, I literally would just put my coat on in exactly the same way that you would put a coat on um, and find my panel at the bottom and zip up. There you go. I can close this at the top if I wanted to. Um, you know, it's got a hood. It's absolutely brilliant. It's genius. Um, if you're interested in baby wearing coats, if you live in London, I would talk to Hannah and the team at Wear My Baby. Um, they've got a shop in Tooting um, because they can talk to you about obviously the styles. I had a really in-depth conversation with Hannah before I bought this coat. Um, so they can talk to you about the styles and what's going to work for you. Um, but they can also talk to you about the sizing um, and which brands you need to size up or down in depending on your body size and shape. Um, and also, obviously, what you want it for. Um, do you want it to survive an absolute massive downpour? Or are you happy that, you know, a light shower is all you're going to be out in? Um, so, yeah, uh, speak to Hannah and the team at Wear My Baby if you're interested in baby wearing coats. Because they are an absolute game changer. Particularly if you're carrying a lot or if you're back carrying. Um, so, yeah, I hope that helps. Um, to, to, to sum up. Take into consideration what you're wearing. Aim for baby to have one more layer than you. Um, as mo most structured carriers with buckles and clips are going to be one layer. If you've got a carrier with multiple layers, such as a stretchy wrap, then count those multiple layers. If you are a particularly warm person, you may count as a layer. Um, or if you know what you're, you're going out and you're going to have a very brisk walk with the dog, um, then actually you might be working up quite a sweat and you might count as an additional layer. So bear, of all, bear all of those things in mind and then think about things that are sticking out. So baby wearing socks or leg warmers for baby, a hat um, and then your outer layers, which you can then add and remove through the course of the day as you need to. Um, I hope that helps. If you want to hire um, a baby wearing cover or the um, cosy uh, clip-in jacket extender, get in touch, that's absolutely fine. Um, they're available on the website, southlondonslings.co.uk. You can reserve them through there, either for collection or posting. Um, and if you've hired one of the accessories from Annie's Accessories, uh, you will then be provided with a discount code. So if you want to go on to buy one, um, I get a, a cheeky little discount code for you there too. Um, so I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, stick them in the uh, comments down below and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks a lot. Bye.